Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a treat today at Kabuki Fox Kung Fu. Matt and special guest, Master Daniel Pesina. Master Daniel is going to tell us a little bit about his conditioning routine. Now, I'll bring it up again. I've brought it up before. Conditioning is a vital part of training. Without the correct conditioning, obviously your body is not going to be able to withstand the sorts of things that you're putting it through. I've talked a bit about conditioning on the Kung Fu dummy in the past. Very good conditioning tool. There are all kinds of forms of conditioning. Conditioning your legs for kickboxing, conditioning your forearms for trapping. So today we're going to look at a more traditional Chinese background form of conditioning with Master Daniel Pesina. Take it away, Daniel. Hi, Master Daniel Pesina. Part of my daily routine is uh, conditioning. Don't do it as intensely as I did when I was younger, but uh, just to give you a, a look. That way I can use my forearms for blocks and strike. Also, I change it to wrist, so I can use the lower part of my wrist for blocking and striking. Uh, in traditional martial arts, everything is always a strike. A uh, little different than sport martial art, where if somebody throws a jab, you kind of cup it or jab it. No, if somebody throws a jab or a punch, you break, try to break that right from the get-go. Same thing with uh, kicks. Kicks are designed not for sport. Uh, they're almost the same kicks, but different uh, application and different striking parts for the kick. So that way, when you throw a kick or a punch or a poke or anything like that, it's always devastating and has a deadly consequence, which is totally different than sport. So if your hand is out like this, and somebody grabs your hand and you turn it, their hand over, from here when they turn it over, their elbow will be exposed. So from here. So as I pull their arm, I'm going to use this part of my forearm to crunch their arm. So basically, you're breaking their arm, and then I push it in, uh, push the punch out into them. If I throw a punch and somebody throws a punch underneath, boom, I can drop, look, from turning, pa, I give that uh, arm coming in, a tap with my hammer, naturally it's gonna be painful, okay? So you have this. When you pull back, say I'm like this, I have this tap here, or I can use this tap down here, I use this tap, I crunch this arm, I'm going to use this left hand, or this hand coming in, look, as a, Ba, elbow behind me. Ha, boom, pull, elbow. These are just some points. There's about 20 or 30 more points application-wise to be, make a beginner start thinking about what they're actually doing and coordinate their movement, okay? So this basic movement looks really easy, but it's really, really deep. You have hundreds of techniques in there, okay? Good luck with that. Many thanks to Master Daniel Pazina for showing us an insight into a bit of his conditioning training. Conditioning can sometimes be taken to extremes in where your body suffers greatly later on in life. There's obviously also reasonable conditioning where you find your body in tip-top shape. Again, we've talked about calcium, keeping your calcium up, looking after your body, being healthy, or being as healthy as you can. I know that keeping your body in a healthy condition in this day and age can sometimes be a little bit hard, but you have to have some discipline as well. Look after your body. If it's martial arts that you're into, then obviously being healthy is a priority in your life. That's not without saying that old school Hong Kong training was of the most healthy caliber. I hear stories of people training back in the day where people would actually be smoking cigarettes or even drinking while training. And it's a very old school Hong Kong sort of mentality there. You know, I've, I've encountered some very conditioned individuals in my time. And halfway through training, they go outside, have a smoke, go right back into it. Again, also with conditioning wise, don't forget to stretch before training. Again, a very important form of conditioning. So that's it for now. 